look at me guys i'm a successful forex trader and the reason why you have clicked this video trust me the reason why you have clicked this video is for you number one to see where you will go if you're a beginner this is exactly what gonna happen to you by just following my videos by just watching this video so make sure you watch this video to the end because there's so much that i have in store for you guys the fact that you have watched me the fact that you're watching me it means that you will be successful so by the title of this video i want just to share with you how i would have how would I learn Forex trading if I'm starting all over again? Remember, guys, I have been trading Forex for the past four years and a half, and I, I am finishing five years next year in the month of July. Imagine I am hitting five years in Forex trading. So when I come here and I tell you this is how I would have, this is how I would learn Forex trading if I'm starting all over again, I have seen so much, guys. I have seen so much. And let me tell you, I know majority of people uh, will come here and tell you, guys, you need to have capital. You need to have big account. Guys, you need to have a skill. You need to go and learn everything on YouTube. No, that is not me. I won't come here and tell you the way you should have so much money, the way you should learn on YouTube. Furthermore, when I started Forex trading, I didn't have mentors to learn from. There was, yes, YouTube YouTube channel. Yes, there were YouTubers doing all this kind of information, but it was so hard to get someone who is consistently telling you, do this and it works. So I'll just highlight how what I would do. And if you're in that position, kindly listen and listen and listen. Listen. For me, I will teach you two things today. There are two types of a mind of a person. So for me, I have come to realize it's not about the money that you have. It's not about the skills that you have. It's not about the passion and your zeal. There's so much to it, and I will tell you in a few. So someone, there are two people here. There's someone who can start Forex trading, and they have $1,000 in their account. And there's someone who doesn't have that money. So these two people, one is an advantage because they have money, one does not, but they are beginners. Let me tell you, the high chances of the one that has a thousand dollars in the account to give up is so high. Why? Once you lose so much money, it is so easy for you to give up. And if you have noticed those people who say Forex is a scam, majority have lost so much money. They have lost $10,000 millions of Kenya shillings they have lost. So someone, when they lose so much, what they conclude is that Forex trading is a scam. But someone who has not been losing money, what they say like Forex trading takes time. And even if you see these people who are successful, it's just because they had money. So everyone will come with their own perspective and where they are at that moment. So I just want us to have a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation of what I have seen. I have seen I was there with the money and sometimes I didn't have the money, but there is no advantage of either you have the capital or not. And trust me, there is no advantage because the one who has the capital, sometimes they violate so many rules. Sometimes they are not disciplined. Sometimes they don't have character. Sometimes they will be careless with the market because of course I have capital. So their trading will be so bad. The one without capital, they will be lazy. Even if I check the market, even if I analyze, I don't have the money to enter. So what I have come to conclude, and this is the video now, this is what I want to tell you. What I've come co to conclude is that if I was to start all over again, I will not I will not focus on the money, the capital, the skill and everything. I will come I will concentrate on the mindset. The mindset guys. Like I will concentrate on the mindset. So let's talk about mindset today and at least maybe I will help you with your mindset and I will elevate you how you think, how you perceive things, how, what are your dreams, what are your goals? That is what you're supposed to focus on if you're a Forex trader. Even if you're watching me and you're not a Forex trader, still this video will help you, okay? So there are two types of mindset. There's the high mind and there's the physical mind, okay? We have two types of mind, a high mind and a physical mind. So majority of Forex trader, when they begin, they are stuck on the physical mind. So let me first explain what the two, uh, what the two, 
uh, mean the difference between a high mind and a physical mind. So a physical mind is a mind that wants to see results for you to know that I am doing better. So for a physical mind, if I, I am hungry, I need to eat to, to tell the physical mind that I am not hungry. The physical mind, if I am trading in Forex, I need to make, let's say, $10, $20 for the physical mind to know that I'm taking progress. For the physical mind to know that now I'm a professional Forex trader, the physical mind wants to know what are the results. Have you bought a car? Have you bought a house? What have you done? Are your kids in a good school? That is the physical mind. And that is the majority, that is the main problem for Forex traders. They are stuck on the physical mind. Now, when it comes to high mind, high mind already know what you want. The high mind want, already knows what you want, but the high mind already has the confidence it has it. So the difference between the physical mind, the, the physical mind is always waiting. It is waiting to be fulfilled, but the high mind is at peace because it is living in the state that this thing is already done. I don't know if I've confused you, but work with me, work with me, I'll give you a point. So if I was to start again, I will really focus on my high mind. So what I will do the first thing, and this is what I failed to do when I was starting as a Forex trader. I'll go and write all my dreams, all my grow goals where I want. And I don't know if you ever watched that video where I said, uh, I don't know where I will be in five years that I was operating on a high mind. I don't know where I, I would be in five years, what I will be doing, where I will be, I will be at. So as a forex trader, also as a beginner, focus on the high mind. And I want to teach you how to focus on the high mind rather than focusing on the physical mind. Because physical mind, you will be disappointed. I won't lie to you. You'll be frustrated. Sometimes you will feel like you want to give up. Sometimes you will feel like this forex is so hard. I cannot understand. Why is it so complex? I I see people doing it. Why can't I do it? So when you rely on your physical mind, because your brain is protecting you. If your brain see this thing, we don't have a solution. The next thing your brain will tell you, let's give up. Let's stop doing it because your brain protects you from harm. But now if you focus on the higher mind, number one, what you will do is to write your vision. I did a video on the vision. So you will have a clear, a clear mind. This is what I want. And I want to be a Forex trader. In fact, I will be earning this certain amount. Like make it so clear. Make it so clear. This is the amount I want to be making in a day. I, I will tell you what I did. Uh, and that time I didn't know I was operating on a higher mind. I, I went and I wrote in a paper that I want to be making $200 a day. By that time, it was so, so huge, guys. I thought I am crazy, but I would rely on a higher mind because sometimes even if you rely on a physical, physical mind wants results. Physical mind want, okay, you want a thousand dollars. Where is it coming from? You're not even working. How would you want to buy a car? You're buying a car with Forex trading. Have you even bought, bought yourself a shoe? Have you, have you even bought yourself? Have you gone to a hotel and ordered a meal and paid with Forex money? Now, what are you? That is the physical mind talking because physical mind will always tell you the impossible. Physical mind, you will think of something and then the physical mind wants to calculate how will we go to step B? It's like, it's like saying, I want to go to town. Your physical mind will start thinking, do you have transport? Do you have the means? Is it training outside? Is it possible? Who are you? What if we go and, and find the, the place we want to go? That person is not there. So that is the physical mind. If you bring that in Forex trading, my friend, hey, it will be so bad on you. So if I was starting forex trading uh and i'm encouraging all the beginners always live on the high mind let people think you're crazy start saying by the way this is where i will be going uh next year not when don't don't speak like this you know many people speak like this when I make money with Forex trading, you already have the money. Your high mind is in a state of having what you want. Your physical mind 
keeps waiting. That is the difference, guys. So if when you hear someone say, I will buy that car when I make a million dollars in a million dollar, mil, one million Kenya shillings or ten thousand dollars in forex, they are living in a want. So anytime you live like you are wanting something, do you know what Psalms twenty three says? Let me bring you to the Word of God. The Word says, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want anything." Let me tell you, if you always are living in a state of want, what you want does not come. Have you ever wanted something? I'll give you an example. Anytime you want a job, you're like, baby, I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I want a job so bad. Does that job come? No, it does not. Sometimes you would want to travel. Let's say you have always admired to do an international travel. And, and in your mind, I want it. I want it. I want it like today. I want it. And you start saying, I want. That is not, the reason why it doesn't come is because the state that you're in it is wanting, you want something, you are in need of that thing. But the high mind, when you now shift, I want people to start shifting. When you shift is saying, I am going, I am going to South Africa. I am going to Dubai. And if let's say you are talking to someone and they, they ask you, when are you going? Oh, next month. I'm going next month. Oh, I'm going next year. Don't add, I am going when I make money. No, you're already in a state high mind always be in a state of having that thing okay so if if you are watching me and you're a beginner and you and I'm I want to talk to those people because I have I have gotten these messages people come to my inbox and they say I don't have money I don't have money for mentorship I don't have if you keep confessing I don't have I don't have the bible says call things not be as though as they are you have to start you you need to change your language you need to change your language, my people. You have to change the language. You have to change the language of I do not have to the language that I have. And sometimes you will start confusing people because you can even say, ah, but then I'm thinking of buying iPhone 16. That's how you should talk because you're in a state of having. And everyone will be like, huh? You mean you will buy you mean you are, it is a dream you will buy or you are buying. I am buying. Just tell them I am buying iPhone 16. Stop explaining. Let me tell you, there is something that people don't understand. Your conscious mind and your mind does not know the difference. So if you, your imagination, if start imagine, if start having imagination, your mind will not know if it is real or you're just, is it's just imagination. It does, it cannot tell. So I want you to start talking with your high mind when it comes to forex anytime you hear someone say this forex is so hard hey this thing is so hard those people are operating in their physical mind and it will be hard on yourself so anytime you wake up in the morning just say i'm doing better in this forex trading in fact i have seen a lot of growth that I, I i remember i didn't know this now i know you start having you start having appreciating heart. You are so grateful for what already has, has been done for you. Okay. So anyone who is watching me, I want you, if you, there's nothing, you know, sometimes people may watch someone and they're like, ah, but then what has he, uh, was she talking about? I'm talking about having a high mind versus a physical mind. Anytime you have a physical mind, you will always see, you will always see negativity in trading. You will always see like you're not progressing. You will always see like, oh, by the way, I feel like it has been two, three years and I cannot see anything I've done with the market. But when you now rely on the high mind, what happens is that by the time you are thinking, oh my God, I have come from afar. Ah, and I want to give you a quote. You may not be where you want to be, but you're not where you were yesterday. Okay. Yes, I, I, yes, I do not have, yes, I've not builded my house. Yes, I've not bought a house. Yes, I have not traveled all over the world. But if I check where I was yesterday, it's definitely not where I am today. So there's progress. I'm progressing. And you have to start uh, saying, even if, uh, you know, this language of, oh, the economy is bad. I don't have money. No, don't be 
uh, one of the people that is participating in such conversation. So it's not about a forex trader who is starting that has a thousand dollars, is a forex trader who has a high mind that make it in this forex. And that's why 95% of people fail. That statistic does not say 95% fail because they don't have capital. It doesn't say 95% fail because there's no information on YouTube. Imagine, imagine if you type today forex trading on YouTube, how many millions of videos comes to for you for you to choose. So let's let's agree. It's not even about the skill. It's not like people don't understand the skill. And it's not about that people don't have the money. There's something else. There's something missing. And I, I and I have done this video to help you understand. Don't blame yourself saying, I wish I had money, I'll be a better forex trader. I wish I had the skill. I wish I can join Esther more free mentorship. I will be a forex trader and a better one and a, a profitable one. Those two, they are not the one that causing you to be uh to be where you are. No, it's the mind. Imagine it's your mind. And that's why psychology trading, we say it is 80% and the skill is 20%. It's like in this video, I was explaining what psychology, psychology trading is all about. But I didn't want to, 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 to just say psychology trading. I'm just saying, if I was to start again, my focus will be high mind. Do you know how many times you would cry because of blowing account? Do you know how many times you would say, we will never trade again. This thing, this thing is not working. Do you know how many times we thought we had thoughts of giving up because we were operating with the physical mind? So if I was given a chance, like I do not know about Forex and I'm given a chance now to start afresh, my, I, I, I'm telling you, I would rely on high mind. I would say, by this, this is the kind of food, this is the kind of food I will be eating. I don't need to explain, I will be eating after I become successful. No, just say, this is where I'm going to show. Do you, and I want you to start talking like that. By the way, uh, my car is a Range Rover. My car is a Range Rover. Not my car will be. No, how it will is. There's so, two different meaning in, in when you say my, my car is a Range Rover and my car will be. Why will be? Why are you in the, the future? You have to be in the present. You have to live now. You have to live now. You have to be in the state of you have it already. You have it. So, and I think that even if I didn't know what I was doing, for me, I feel like that was the number one thing that made me to become a profitable trader and a successful trader. Many people keep asking me, what was the turning point? How comes now you're successful? For me, I feel like I relied more on the high mind. So for me, I always say, you know, the Bible says your skill will create a room in the presence of great men. So for me, when I talk, I talk like this. I, I talk for me, my voice is in the presence of great men. Not it will go. No, the Bible says it has already created the room. So for me, I I, I, I am still practicing to rely 100% on high mind because sometimes you will be discouraged here and there. But I want you, if you have watched this video, you're not the problem. Is not the money the problem. In fact, if you can just switch, it's just switching. You just say everything that you want, you just say it as it is, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you will rely more on the high mind than the physical mind. Stop being carnal. The Bible says that be more spiritual. People are so carnal. They want just to see physical mind. You want to see the results. The Bible says we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. So it's high time you start walking by faith. You start calling things not be as though as they are. So that by the time you are reaching to where God wants you to reach, you will have a testimony. People will ask you, how did you manage to fight all the battles, to overcome all the obstacles, to fight all the frustration? Why didn't you give up? But they don't understand that as the moment where the giving up would have happened, you are already operating on a high mind. Already you have won. So there's no, discouragement when it comes, it does not change anything. Yes, I will cry, but it won't change anything. And I remember the times I would blow account. Yes, I would cry. I would feel 
but the next minute I'm back in the market because it cannot change who I am. So don't allow failures to change who you are. Don't allow circumstances to change who you are. Don't allow uh, things that are surrounding or anything, maybe family that are, maybe they have rejected you because of choosing Forex, or you feel like you are in your down because you have taken loans and these people are coming on to you and you don't have anywhere to go. Don't allow that moment change the way you think. So Forex is more of the way you think and not the physical mind, because I've told you. Physical mind won't, won't always... <laughs> Have you ever argued with someone who is physical mind? They will always argue with what they can see. There is more to the unseen things. And that's why the, the Bible says faith is, is, is the hope of things that you have not seen. So the minute you are operating in the high mind, it's like you're operating in the mind of God. Because the Bible says as long as you believe there is God, the God you have not seen, you are now operating on the high mind, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope someone has gotten it and you will start operating on your high mind. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye-bye.